We've got some of the biggest crashes in cars racing from the Ornament Valley 500 and the Salt Flats. Just wait until you see the crash that made it into our number one spot. Here we go again, Kevin Schiffright with one win. He'll be starting off in the front row on the left. Rex Revler, number 80 on his right side. And they're off again for another race. Kevin Schiffright leading into turn one. Slider Petrolski behind him in second. Kevin Schiffright flies through turn two. Oh, and down goes Dirksen D'Agostino. Kevin Schiffright all alone around the turn and he will take his second win of the day. A strong start for Kevin Schiffright. One more win for him and this is all over. Dirksen D'Agostino upside down on the second corner. Let's see what happened to him. Slider Petrolski once again sliding around the track. D'Agostino goes up on top of him right before he flips over. There goes Mater out there once again. He's getting a real workout today. They're both starting from the back row. All the pressure here is on Rex Revler to tie things up. And they're headed down the track for the final race. Slider Petrolski and Dirksen D'Agostino in the front. Revler moves up to second. He's sideways now. D'Agostino with a strong lead. Revler and Schiffright going backwards. So is D'Agostino. Slides around the final turn. He flips over. Revler's gonna tie it up. Whoa! Kevin Schiffright passes up Rex Revler at the last second. I did not see that coming. And neither did Rex Revler. What an amazing finish to this race. Here it is one more time. Dirksen D'Agostino had the lead. He flipped over coming out the corner. Then it was Rex Revler but he was spinning out of control, and that opened up the door for Kevin Schiffright to fly on through, making him the winner of today's Radiator Springs All-Stars Race. One race left. Can Laney, Wheelhouse, or Logano secure the win, or will Danny Suarez bring it up to a four-way tie? Here they go down the track for the final race. Bubba Wheelhouse out in front, Danny Suarez behind him in second. Wheelhouse spins out again. Danny Suarez is gaining on him. There's some contact, they're tangled up. Wheelhouse flips over. Logano makes the pass. And Go Go Logano comes from behind to take the checkered flag and wins the Ornament Valley 500. He went from third to first, avoiding that crash. Those are the skills that make Go Go Logano a championship racer. Here we go, four cars, four races. The starting position will rotate between each race. Slider Petrolski in the pole position. And there they go down the track for race one. A close race between Slider Petrolski and Kevin Schifferite. Petrolski is sliding sideways. Kevin Schifferite pushing Petrolski around turn two. Slider Petrolski going backwards. Kevin Schifferite spins around. There's contact. Petrolski's flipped off the track. And that race will go to Kevin Schifferite. A tough break for Slider Petrolski. He was in the lead all the way down to the final turn. Right here, he tries to turn his car around. He oversteers, then Kevin Schiffright, who was also going backwards, rear ends his car. That did not look intentional, but it definitely worked out in Kevin Schiffright's favor. And hey, there goes Toe Mater doing what he does best, getting these cars back up to the start. One more win for Lightning McQueen, and he'll be today's winner. Here they go. Both racers side by side. Lightning McQueen now taking the lead. It's still a close race. Lightning McQueen weaving back and forth. Whoa, Lightning McQueen goes off course. He takes out the flag car and his assistant. That was a wild turn of events. Lightning McQueen had the lead, but he failed to cross the finish line. So that race will go to Ramon. Let's see that again. His tire hits the right barrier. Then he veers to the left, knocking over Guido and Luigi. But good news, everyone is all right. Lightning McQueen and Ramon making sure their friends are okay. Strip Weathers and Lightning McQueen in the front row, Chick Hicks and Billy Oil Changer in the back row. And they're off for the second race. The King in the lead once again, this time Chick Hicks behind him in second. Lightning McQueen falls back to third. The King goes flying through the corner, Lightning McQueen spins out of control. Billy Oil Changer has crashed. Now the King spins out. Oh, and a questionable move by Chick Hicks, shoving the King Strip Weathers off the track. The crowd does not seem too happy about that. The King appears to be okay. Chick Hicks and the King certainly have a history together in the Piston Cup. Billy Oil Changer is upside down. Lightning McQueen right there with him. Let's go to the replay. You can see Lightning McQueen gets spun around. He's going in reverse. Then he goes into a wild spin and that sends Billy Oil Changer upside down. Strip Weathers had a big lead. He lost control going around Willie's Butte. But then look at Chick Hicks. A direct hit into the front end of the King. 
This just in, the race officials have decided to disqualify that win for Chick Hicks due to unsportsmanlike conduct. Chick Hicks will start the next race in the pole position, but that win will not count. Chick Hicks clearly not happy about that call by the officials. One more win for Revsley and he is the winner. And here they go for race two. This time it's Lightning McQueen first off the line. Royce Revsley closing in on Lightning McQueen. He taps his back end. And there's another hit from Revsley, but Lightning, whoa! Lightning McQueen gets rolled at the finish. That looked like a bad wreck. Let's go to the replay to see what happened. Lightning McQueen cuts off Royce Revsley, slams into the barrier. That sends him sideways, rolls his car as he finishes this race upside down. Luckily for Lightning McQueen, he didn't travel alone. His buddy Mater is here to help him out. Here we go, they're lined up for race two. Let's see if Mater can even the score. And they're off. Cruz Ramirez taking the early lead this time. Mater struggling to keep up. I really didn't think a tow truck could beat a race car. Wait a minute, here goes Mater driving backwards and Mater steals the win as he jumps over the barrier. What a truck. Look at this incredible backwards driving by Mater. I don't think Cruz Ramirez was expecting that. And then right here you see Mater coming in hot at the finish, jumps over the barrier landing on his side. They're both lined up at the start again for race two. Can Sally even the score? Here they go. Sally taking the lead, but here comes Mater again. Wow, Mater is driving fast. What kind of fuel is that truck using? And this race goes to, whoa! Sally goes soaring through the air. Mater almost tipped over. That was a wild finish. Keep your eye on Sally right here. She launches off that cone into the air, hits the wall then into a spin. And would you look at that Mater out there helping Sally. Mater is a real class act. And with that second win, Mater will be advancing on to the finals. One more win for the King and he will be the winner. They're off for race two. Cruz Ramirez takes the lead. She's weaving back and forth. This may be her strategy to block the King. And it appears to have worked. Whoa! The King takes a bad tumble at the finish line, rolling his car multiple times, flipping over the barrier. We're gonna get a truck down there to help him out. In the meantime, let's go to the replay. The King hits the right barrier, pops up onto that cone, and wow, that was a bad crash. But it appears the King is okay. Cruz Ramirez out there checking on him. That's what good sportsmanship is all about.